Right, so hello everybody, Gigi here, and today I'm going to be starting off my new series, which I'm going to be calling Good News. Obviously, this video is not good news, because we may find out that Nathan Drake is dead. So, Uncharted 4 is the new Uncharted coming to the series in 2016, and I really like Uncharted 4. Um, Uncharted 4, I mean, I like, I like the Uncharted series altogether. I used to play them... I played all three of them on PlayStation 3, and I will be playing this one on PS4, because if you play all three, you have to finish it with number four. But unfortunately, we, Nathan Drake may not see the end of number four. So I'll tell you why, and I'm going to give you the quote which was said to us by one of the producers. And uh, just a few little things. And so obviously we all really want Nathan Drake to survive this, but because he is the main character and it's called A Thief's End, it kind of does kind of mean, you know... That he's gonna die. It could be his brother Sam, because his brother Sam is also a thief. It could mean his brother dies, but it's more likely that Nathan Drake is dead. So enough rambling on, I'm gonna read you the quote which is said to us by one of the creative lead scriptwriters. Until things are pinned down, it's never definite. But once we put the pins in those things, it became very real. We've been discussing it throughout production and how it's going to be the last one. But when we said, well, here's exactly how it's going to happen, and we're committing to this, and here are the scripts for it, then all of a sudden it's like, oh, this is the end for Nathan Drake. Great. So he's just pretty much told us that Nathan Drake is going wiped out. Who doesn't like Nathan? I mean, Nathan is the main character. He's he's the guy that survives everything, but he's also the most unlucky guy. But I thought I'd just bring you this quick news because I saw it and I thought, you know, there's a lot of people out there who like Uncharted, and I'm gonna give I'm gonna give you put down in the comment down below, in the comment section down below whether you think he's gonna survive or he's gonna die, or do you think it's gonna be his brother Sam? Let me know what you think and. Also, tell me if you like the Uncharted series, because I really enjoy it, and I think it's something that really a lot of people should try, because it's, di it's, it's different. It's a different thing compared to what you play nowadays, but it's, it's very unrealistic compared to what happens in real life. But no game is realistic, and I really do recommend this. So, after hearing that quote, you can't really get any more concrete kind of stuff than that, and although it says a thief's end, it... Like I've said before, it could mean his brother Sam, or Sully, which is his person that helps him out. But whatever Naughty Dog, Naughty Dog, Naughty Dog, Naughty Dog have planned, it's not going to come back once it's over. So, <sighs> whoever dies, they're not going to come back to life, because this isn't like Halo or Call of Duty or any of that kind of stuff. This is like a real adventurer. Once he's dead, he's dead. So, I really do hope they make this game worthwhile playing, because I think that it's going to be really good, and... Yeah. Um, so, another part of this news is going to be about Halo 6. So, everyone's played Halo 5 now, and I don't know if they're getting bored of it or not, but they're probably going to expect the next one. And Halo 6 has pretty much been confirmed, and they are planning an ultimate end for Master Chief. So, a recent interview with Frank O'Connor, um, he let slip that in Halo 6 is already in the works, and it's in a state to plan every aspect of the Master Chief for the next few years. So, he's, he let a few quotes slip, which could kind of give you an idea of what's going to happen to him. So, here they are. Uh, he says, we do kind of know what's going to happen in the next game, and it's pretty obvious at this point. That process could change the story, but we know what's going to happen in the next game, and we kind of know what's going to happen to the Master Chief, ultimately. And the final quote, when we started Halo 3, there was a lot of kind of, okay, we've got to finish telling the story that we had in Halo 2. But we also need to move forward. So, he also mentions that when they made the first game, uh, they didn't really know whether there was going to be a sequel. And it kind of made it hard to plan for the future. So, it got one of the biggest reasons why Halo 4 saw such a big injection of lore and personal development for the Chief. So, Halo 6 is probably going to be the end for the Master Chief. Um, although many people don't want him to die, just like Nathan Drake. He's one of the main characters of this, the game and the franchise. And maybe the sixth Halo game is the end for him. So, what do you think is going to happen to the Master Chief? Leave it in the comment section down below whether you think he's going to die, fly in a spaceship, or be the main character and stay that way. I think he's going to die. Okay, I think they're going to kill him off, just like they will from Nathan Drake, because they have to end it somewhere. And the good thing that we'd do with this is they'd kill a main character, they'd bring out in the next game, but then everyone would want to know what's happening afterwards, so you'd buy the next game. It's kind of a way to make people buy the next game. It's like a cliffhanger on the episode of a, on the end of a TV episode. People will watch the next one because they want to know what happens. So, 
Obviously, a lot of people don't want this to happen to the Master Chief because the first game was 2001. Unfortunately, um, half of the majority of the team have transferred across to Jet's Destiny now and they've left the originals to try and pick up the ball and roll with it with Halo 6. So, if you are excited, leave a like and I'll see you next time.